Yes, Mr. Dietrich, thank you very much. Um, so yeah, you may, may remember yesterday we had our test session when you tried out everything and there was a, uh, a little ironical uh, comment from a participant who said, oh, I never heard about polarization before. And uh, so, yeah, I, I have to admit we are now, of course, since 2018 on the market with the polarization camera, but still until today, I think there's not, not one day where is not at least one answer, uh, one question from a customer not knowing anything about polarization or don't know how to do, how to use it. And also that is, I think, still until today, one of the most common questions, uh, what can I do with polarization? And uh, so this is also uh, one of the, the, yeah, this is the main content of my presentation today. Um, so just quickly, um, Lucid is a, a innovative Canadian camera manufacturer with actually around about 65 employees worldwide. And our headquarters is uh, based in Richmond. Uh, it's a suburb of Vancouver and uh, British Columbia, Canada. So when we have meanwhile, uh, several subsidiaries in the USA, in, in uh, Japan, in China, Taiwan, and also in, in Europe, where I'm responsible uh, for. And um, so, uh, this, I think uh, a lot of people saw this already, but I think it's, it's important uh, to understand also that when, when Sony came out with the first 250 uh, um, MZR um, sensor and, um, uh, and put the, out a real uh, wire grid, a nano wire grid on each pixel directly underneath the micro lens array, what you see here. And can you see my mouse by the way, or? I should use maybe the laser pointer. That's easier. Um, so uh, you see the micro lens and the polarizer is uh, the polarized wire grid is directly uh, uh, built on the photodiode, and which has the advantage that you have less crosstalk. So um, and get a, a higher quality of your polarization data. So uh, with a mono sensor, it's done that for each uh, neighbor pixel here, get a nano wire grid with uh, the direction of 0, 45, 90, 135 degrees. And uh, four pixels you need uh, to calculate the polarization information, the uh, polarization data. With color, you need a little bit more. So overall, the sensor is a five megapixel sensor. So this reduces if you want to have uh, for only one. Uh, calculation unit, uh, the information, you have a, a quarter of this, um, of the five megapixel and for uh, RGB, you need uh, 16 pixels, so um, uh, which lowers then the, the resolution a little bit for each uh, single calculation unit. Yes, so talking about where to use it, I think that's the most interesting actually, which customers ask, are asking. So this is an example of a Japanese customer and his task was quite difficult to solve with standard cameras. So the shown gear here, so these are both, uh, um, this is a degree and this is the angle of uh, linear polarization image here. And the shown gear is used in an automotive and also in aerospace applications um, in Japan. And in this case, the accuracy of the measurement is required to be within a few micrometers. Um, the metallic, so that's a metallic uh, part here and uh, suffers very heavily from, from specular reflection, uh, which complicated uh, this for the customer. And uh, so uh, they, they want to get more contrast and it was not normal and uh, not good enough for them with, with actual uh, camera solutions. So um, when you want to inspect these objects, these kind of objects where specularity and lack of contrast could be a challenge like it is here in this application, uh, you can use a polarization camera to, to visualize certain properties. And this application, you see here the scratch, and the scratch was uh, uh, done by a needle, and uh, the customer is using the needle to measure. Uh, so it's, it's a physical measurement, uh, what they do. But the needle, um, they do the scratches from time to time, and you don't see that with a standard camera. And uh, so, and also this scratch is not acceptable um, uh, for this customer. And uh, so they want to just uh, throw away these, these uh, um, um, uh, gears and, uh, or rework. I don't know exactly if they've thrown it away, but um, so it, it, it's not a good quality. So they have to find this. And this was also an application we um, uh, solved with a polarization uh, camera. Another uh, 
application. So here you see you see nothing. So first a standard camera and uh, then the polarized. So you can also use this polarization sensor for low light detection. So it demonstrates uh, the ability uh, to uncover things with normal, where normal monochrome cameras struggle uh, to see something. And for example, also human beings entering and leaving the scene under low light settings uh, could be detected with this, with this application. Uh, this was uh, for another uh, Asian customer where they had also uh, different problems uh, and to solve this with uh, before they need to use uh, more cameras uh, with different polarized filters. And they wanted to see these kind of damages and also a sticker on it or beneath, or they want to see or want to be able to read um, uh, the, 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 uh, the written things on it or the, the pictures on it to see if the quality is good enough. And they had, because of the shrink wrap, they had uh, issues with uh, uh, reflections. And uh, yeah, so there was, they had a big, big problem with that. And so they, they used, uh, they used our camera, or they still use our camera uh, for that. And you see here um, that with, uh, yeah, with this, uh, with our software, uh, you have the possibility that you can get for each quadrant, you get the single uh, image. So this is for the, the 90, the 45, the, the 130 and the zero degree. And there is at least one in this case, um, uh, calculation unit where the reflection can be removed. And uh, so you you can use this uh, very easily to make things then visible where you maybe need for a, a polarized uh, um, uh, four cameras, for example, with polarized filter with different ones, or you have one one camera with a mechanical filter. So that's how you can get rid of this and see something. Another uh, example is here, uh, also visualized in the two by two grid. Um, so one polarization can, channel catches the most amount of the polarized uh, reflected light of the plastic wrap and uh, any depolarizing polarization by the sticker or a rip in the package can be easily identified. So the defect can here uh, be easily identified by using the degree of the, the uh, polarization. Uh, next is, of course, this is some of the killer applications. I think everybody uh, thinks about, uh, but still, I, I have to mention it. Uh, killer applications are like that you have to see. Um, uh, so you see here on the left side. So where's my here? This this, uh, this mobile phone uh, um, uh, plastic uh, uh, box. And uh, you don't see nothing. You don't see any scratch. You don't see any uh, stress. So you can see that it's not flat. It's it's uh, that uh, you can see this this scratch here, and that's quite easily also to make it visible uh, uh, with a polarization uh, sensor. Next application is also out of the glass industry, so uh, which uh, 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 you, where you can see also th uh, thermal induced tensions and also by bending. Um, so this is also an example with with a. Uh, uh, the courtesy of a customer from us with company Elise using this camera for. Another uh, possibility is that we have in our software um, a virtual polarizer integrated and uh, a virtual polarization filter helps uh, users to emulate imaging conditions that can, for example, reduce reflections in an image or increase color, saturation and contrast. Uh, this is because we have an on-camera polarization processing that can output the Stokes vector um, as the image pixel format. So with on-camera polarization processing, you can create this virtual polarization filter, which is useful for experimenting with different configurations. So you don't have to use a physical filter. So I uh, will also show this, I hope this works. So you have to focus uh, your eyes here. This is the, the zoom here. So uh, don't watch the queen here. So um, and uh, check the, the the here this this building. And uh, so I hope it will run now. You see the virtual angle is, and then you can see here things. You can make it more visible. So I hope I can do it again. You see, please see here. 
and you see it, things are changing and you can do some tests without using different filters. So you just do it by software. Another um, uh, uh, is also polarization could be used also to evaluate properties of molecules. Molecules and molecules that are chiral uh, will change the angle of polarized light when the light passes through the molecule. And the magnitude of the change is relative to the concentration of the molecule in the solution. So uh, uh, polarization camera can be used as a way to optical uh, evaluate concentrations of a chiral molecule in a solution. So in this example, you see it's just sugar water. Uh, so this is uh, water without sugar. This is uh, with a little bit uh, sugar, and this one is uh, with more sugar. And so you can see here uh, the differences, and then you can check uh, uh, the concentration of this of this uh, yeah part in the in the solution. So Mr. Dietrich, you are looking so uh, <laughs> confused. <laughs> Everything okay? Not confused. I'm. I'm. I'm also. Uh, there, there. There's a question upcoming. I'm. I'm also thinking about uh, how the, the. What's behind the effect that uh, polarization filters will will uh, improve the low light imaging? I'm. I'm still still thinking about that. But yeah, okay, maybe later. I think I'm about the presentation. <laughs> we come to that. Sorry. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. So. Also, a uh, new application. So, but that's very yeah. It's but it's uh, still uh, we don't have yet a customer using this. But um, also, this sheet shows how to inspect the three D geometric uh, structure of an object from surface normals by using a polarization camera. So we did uh, uh, this is brand new, and uh, so the Phoenix and the Triton polarization camera can be used to analyze the polarization state of the light reflected from um, an object to estimate the surface normals. And uh, the surface normals that are out of the tolerance or vastly different from the neighboring normals can be treated as defects and deformations in the object such as a dent here shown in the, in the metal can. And in addition, the surface normals can be used then to reconstruct a 3D point cloud of the target object. This technique is useful in analyzing object shape quality if one does not have access to a 3D depth camera. So i uh, show you also then here the example. So start the video. So you get this data, and then we uh, have a part of software where we did, and we, which you can also download from our webpage. Please check this here. And uh, then you can uh, create also a, a 3D point cloud out of this. So next. Um, yes, uh, these are the, the cameras where you can get, actually. So we have the Geek E. Uh, cameras, they have these this, uh, sensors. Um, one word, so Sony just uh, launched this year uh, the, the, the lower cost version of the 250. So this is a 264, uh, which is the, the slower, slower brother um, of the 250. And uh, we, where you don't have any difference between the, 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 the former camera we provided and uh, to, now to the new one. So it's the same sensor, it's the same speed in Gig E. Uh, but uh, much cheaper. So uh, we were then also able to lower the pricing tremendously, which makes also, I think, uh, it more interesting for more applications again. So yes, there are tons of other applications where I don't have the possibility to show uh, images because it's more or less, uh, so we have a lot of RD uh, issues, so with biological, so insect research, uh, we have customers in maritime applications uh, want to get rid of reflections of the water surface to see obstacles. And uh, we have customers uh, building navigation system using the polarization of the sunlight. So there are tons of more applications um, which are not that industrial, but uh, still interesting also for, for camera manufacturer. And yeah, that's it. So uh, from my from my side. Thank you very much. <laughs>